Well, we all like to get a little bit more nature in our lives, and it can be difficult if you don't have a green thumb like me. But there are some new and innovative ways to get plants in your life. And Dion Roberts and Gemma Lewis is here from Beniva Flowers to teach us about plantscape. And we'll start off, you know, we know you as Beniva Flowers, but you guys do a lot of other things when it comes to plants and, uh, you know, services. Yes, especially now uh, we've been transitioning. We have a new owner. Mm. So we have a new, uh, young, energetic new owner who wants to take Beniva to the next level. So while we don't want to go too far away from what we've always done, mm -hmm. we've decided to go into Plantscapes. So we are now launching our Plantscape division. All right, well, What's tell us what Plantscape is. <laughs> yeah, we're all confused. You know we don't plant anything. Okay, we are not doing exterior landscaping with the big mower and the lawns and all of that. We are doing mostly interiors. Oh. Yes. Mm. And we've always done a bit of interior with container gardening, like the orchids and the gift baskets and the plant, um, the container planters. So, so plant, plant, Plantscape is more like the idea of decorating with plants. Is that the idea of it? Interior, interior. landscaping. Mm -hmm. Like interior a whole area, a yes. whole area of plants. I was just telling you, my husband died almost 11 years ago. A friend called Beniva Florist and said, send her something that will last almost mm -hmm. 11 years and that plant is going strong. That's how good we are. And <laughs> is that the advantage of a plantscape? Is that something that we can keep going for mm -hmm. longer periods of time than, say, a potted plant? Yes. Well, Yes, there is. There's several benefits to a plant wall or a plantscaping. Uh, one, they're a natural sound barrier. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're ever in a restaurant, it's very noisy. If you have a plantscape system in there, mm -hmm. it dampens down the sound. Oh. Another thing that it also does is it removes what are known as VOCs or volatile organic compounds. It removes the pollution from the air and filtrates oh. it. Oh, well, wow. you know, we're looking at some of the things like right now this picture shows plants on the wall, almost mm -hmm. like a picture. So mm -hmm. how does that work? Um, well, basically, we mount them straight onto the wall. Mm -hmm. They're self-sustaining systems. Uh, they have water contained within the frame itself. Really? The plants are That's living cool. plants. Oh, you okay. don't have to water them? No, you do not have to water them. They are taken care of. Uh, we are actually a complete service system. We will come in, maintain, and groom them for That's you. That's what I need. So does the water let yeah. them like circulate behind it in some sort of pump it's, fashion? How does it stay moist? It's similar. It's, it's actually a wick system, uh, kind of like a terry cloth system. Okay. That the plant actually pulls the water off of the uh, wick system. Very oh interesting. So That's a better so way to keep these? plants alive. Do you oh. have anything to show us? And we actually this? have one right in front it's of us. It's down right in front here. of us. Oh. One right well, here. Well, Beth, this could be your solution. I was thinking <laughs> that. I was thinking that this seems like something I can do and I can pretend I have a green thumb while mm -hmm. you guys do all of the work. Um, do hey. you design them or do I design them? <laughs> she designs them. Ah. <laughs> but I can work with you. I could tell you what I want. You, you can make can. it happen. Mm -hmm. You can and I will make it happen. So, and what kind of different designs are available? Because, you know, if you have a personality, you know, do you kind of go with a person's personality? It, yes, it is. It's based on the customer's needs and wants. We can design pretty much anything to what you would like or what your home decor is. Um, Neat. Do flowering plants work as well or just different leaves? Because I'm seeing a lot of leaves. Yeah. You can use flowering plants. Uh, what we try and use is non-pollinating or low-pollinating plants. Uh -huh. Right. You know, you don't want to have a lot of pollen in them. Or uh, shedding, probably, shedding. even. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, there are several flowering plants that do meet that criteria. Now, if you want a specific plant, we can talk to you about uh, the benefits of it. What works. And how well it works within mm -hmm. that system. Well, mm -hmm. you brought some plants for each of us based on our individual personalities. So we're going to start with Steph. Like, tell us what you brought for her and why. Okay. Would you like to come Gemma, on? did you design this for us? Um, I didn't do it myself. Our plant division did this. Okay. What kind of so, plant would this be? Or what, what are the varieties? So first of all, we have uh, mixed... Um, a plant a basket. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's got crotons, anthurium lilies, peace lilies, palms, and a begonia. Why and you chose Stephanie. Begonia. And why did you choose that based on her personality? Is it because she is has a green thumb and she can deal with plants? And she, yes. <laughs> she yes. does know how to keep things alive. Yes. Humans, <laughs> pets, plants. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So my personality, I guess. Why would you pick this one for me? This is low maintenance. Um, you water once a week. Uh, you can mist uh, the blooms with a, a mister. And then there's nothing to it. 
you pour off the excess water and you leave it alone for another week or so. Well, that seems like something I can do. And yes. it's very beautiful. Yeah. And it's very upscale. Orchids Ooh, are very upscale. All right, going mm -hmm. to Linda's, you pick this one for her and what, what about the personality uh -oh. drink? <laughs> Linda um, likes long lasting plants. 11-year-long <laughs> last Exactly. <laughs> That's quite a feat. The peace lily, it, you have got to be really, really bad to kill a peace lily. <laughs> oh, now, and it's a challenge, Linda. If you forget to take care of a peace lily, you will come home and it will be literally laying on the table. You submerge it in water for a day or two and it will Come get back. up oh, off the table really? oh, cool. and stand That's up again. So I like things right. like that that are mm -hmm. tough. That's a gorgeous and style. Mickey <laughs> travels a lot, so she's not at home all the time. Yes. So you have this for her. Why? Yes. You can leave your um, orchid for long periods. Once you give it uh, a position with high density, intensity light, mm -hmm. and you can attach a wick system to it. Like, mm. do like a, a cloth wick from a bowl of water and onto it'll you. travel into the plant. Wow. And right. Over the time you're, you're oh, not oh, at that's home, so smart. it's going to take care of itself. I've everything. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a lot of really good catch. Well, now yeah. you know we're going to all have a green thumb, or at least look like we have a green thumb around our house and our workplaces. Exactly. So that's great. Perception is, <laughs> Perception is everything. Perception is everything. I love this reality. lady. All right. So now, if you want to get more information about Beniva Flowers, you can go to their website, beniva.com. And they would like to also thank you guys because you provide us flowers for our set and throughout our station all the time. So it's thank you pleasure. so much for making us always look good. And if you wanted to find more about the plantscapes, since those are new, there's also a website, benevaplantscapes.com. Oh, this sounds so yeah. good. Yes. All right, well, thank you. Then we'll be right back with Mickey. And you have some tips about psoriasis, right? All right, we'll be back.